When it comes to betting options for your gerbil, the selections are wide-ranging and almost endless. However, not all betting is quality betting, or even safe for that matter. In this video, we'll briefly list several quality betting options in addition to noting the pros and cons for each selection. We'll also highlight a few betting materials that are unsafe and should always be avoided. As a point of note, all quality substrate options should be sturdy, yet suitable for tunnel building while also granting at least 6 inches of support. All bedding, regardless of your final selection, should be fully replaced every 3 to 4 weeks. Before we begin our discussion, we'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We value your time and we certainly thank you for your support. Now, let's get started. As a visual reference, all positive betting options as well as the pros and cons for each will be featured on screen in textual form. Substance and price. That's what it comes down to when you're discussing the best betting options for your gerbils. Not every substrate is created equal, so it's important to cater to your own personal situation and also your own wallet. Because positive betting can be made from wood and paper pulp, as well as other natural materials, prices may vary. This is why some gerbil owners choose to create their own bedding for a cheaper price. Let's take a look at a series of substrate options and list the pros and cons.
In our introduction, we mentioned tunnels. Most of the bedding options that we've noted, with the exception of soil and sand, will not support the formation of tunnels. However, if the substrate is used in conjunction with soil and or sand, the materials can be chewed and formed to establish a sturdier bedding option that can support tunnel formation. This is why positive combinations of substrate are recommended. Plant-based bedding is best for burrowing. Any mixture of wood, paper, hemp, or hay should do the trick. In terms of safety aspects and a greater detail placed on the pros and cons of our substrate options, please visit us at gerbilwelfare.com. There you will find a full-length and incredibly detailed article dedicated to this very subject matter. If you're currently watching us off-site, we invite you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the aforementioned information. There are some substrates that should be off-limits. Not only are they physically uncomfortable, they can pose a toxic threat to your pets. Here are eight prominent negatives. Perfumed bedding, pellet bedding, cat litter, cedar and pine wood shavings, inked paper, specifically newspaper and magazine, cotton and polyester wadding, landscaping bark and tissue paper, and substrate that is collected from the outside. As noted in our previous section regarding the best bedding options, please visit us at gerbilwelfare.com for more information. Within our aforementioned detailed article, you will also find researched information pertaining to each of these negative bedding materials and exactly why they should always be avoided as substrate possibilities. Regardless of the bedding type you select, your gerbil or gerbils will chew it. This is normal and natural behavior. This is one of the many reasons why certain bedding is better than others and safer to boot. Gerbils will often chew their bedding and spit it out. Over time, this reforms the substrate into smaller and moist pieces. It will eventually create a sturdier bedding. Multi-layer and multi-type substrate work best, as we've noted. Your pet can build better tunnels that will be less likely to collapse. While gerbils will rarely, if ever, deliberately eat their bedding, some materials can be swallowed. Once again, this is why the material used to form substrate is so critical. It must be safe. Knowing that gerbils will naturally chew their bedding makes the substrates you select all the more important. And just to reinforce a point that was made in our introduction, roughly 6 inches of substrate is the minimum requirement, and all bedding should be changed entirely after 3-4 to four weeks of use. While some bedding can be changed sooner, and others can hold out a little more longer, most bedding selections will fall within this 21 to 28 day period. And on that note, that will close things out for our video coverage. However, as we've mentioned, if you would like to know more concerning this topic, we invite you to visit us at gerbilwelfare.com. Watching off-site, please smash that initial link in the description box below that is available to you. You'll be glad that you did. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. We appreciate your support. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later. Music